the side profile. guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Carly and today we're hopping right into the fall vibes now that the leaves are changing on the trees and it's getting colder outside I decided to transition into the fall makeup all the neutrals all the golds all the maroons literally my favorite time of the year Halloween but if you guys have any Halloween tutorial recommendations leave them in the comments below because I need some ideas for this year and I think it'd be fun to film more Halloween videos because I didn't really film any last year, I don't think. For this look, I only used the James Charles X Morphe palette. So if you have this palette in your collection, it'll be easy to recreate. If you don't, you can just find similar shadows in your collection. It's kind of like a fall cranberry type of vibe. Sorry if my audio is really jibbed up, I don't have my camera anymore, I have to go back to my old camera and I know the audio is kind of iffy. I think for this video I'm going to do a voiceover so it goes a little bit quicker. If you want to see how I created this look and you want to try it for yourself then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I haven't done a voiceover in so long so we'll see how this goes. I'm probably going to panic because it's going to go so fast but here we go. So first I'm taking Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to put this all in the dark areas, under eyes, my eyelids, and then all over my problem areas. I'm just taking a little bit because I don't want it to be cakey. Then I got concealer on my phone. <laughs> now I'm just blending that all in with my finger because it melts easier into the skin when you use your finger. Next, I'm taking Ulta Beauty Face Sculpting Stick. I don't know the shade, but I'm just putting that in my cheekbone area and around the perimeter of my face and my nose. And then I'm taking my dry ass sponge and just blending her all in. I was too lazy to go wet my sponge, so that's why. Next, I'm taking my favorite product, the Milk Makeup, what is it, Cheek Stick? And it's in the shade Work. And this is my by far my favorite summer product. Well, now it's fall, but... I love cream products because they blend so easily and they just look the most natural. So once again, I'm just blending that in with my fingers. Next, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and setting my under eyes and my T-zone. The Ulta Slim Brow Pencil in Ash Taupe and I like this because it has a spoolie on the end and I'm just gonna speed through my eyebrows. And then I'm just going over them with the Benefit 24 hour brow set and just brushing those bad boys up. Oh, gotta get that coffee, sis. Sisters, James Charles palette. First shade that I'm dipping into is Tune and I'm just gonna be swiping this all over my lid and kind of blending it up towards my brow bone. Next, I'm going in with Code James and kind of focusing that more in my crease but also blending it all out. I'm using a really fluffy brush. In the shade Punch Me and putting that all over my lid, focusing it on the outer portion of my lid, but mostly just blending all over for a nice neutral base. <clears throat> I'm done. Then taking Mary and also kind of blending this all over my lid. It's all about building here. We gotta build the colors. I'm really focusing this on the outer edge of my lid and then blending in. It just takes a lot of blending. That's, that's basically it. Then taking Boutique. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Taking a little smaller stippling brush and packing that on my outer corner. And then going down to the shade. Love that. And I'm actually going to focus this right on my lash line. Just blend it right up against your lash line. 
and then blend up towards the lid. I'm basically just packing it all over my lash line and blending up. So I'm going in with Shook and putting that on my pinky finger. Shook. And just putting that all over my lid. I mostly just took Punch Me, that really mustardy, poopy color, and just putting that underneath in my lash line. What is it, bottom lash line? Then I'm taking T, which is a darker brown, and taking a smaller brush and lining my lower lash line. And just blending it out with that purple shade. Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes, and these are Ardell Wispies, and I cut them up, so I use the outer half. And using Milk Makeup Mascara, coating my lashes, and then... Bang! There are the lashes. Wow. Then I'm going back in with my brow pencil and just making a bunch of freckles. I love freckles. Even in the fall, I still like freckles. Now finishing off the base makeup, I'm going in with Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and just warming up my face. LOL. Then California Blush by Benefit, my favorite blush. And I love putting it underneath my nose. Then I'm taking Benefit Cookie Highlight and putting that in my inner corner and my brow bone for a pop the middle of my nose and my nose bridge this is a lipstick by the sephora collection i think it's called brunch babe or something brunch something and finally i'm just topping that off with a color pop so juicy lip gloss and partly rowdy that completes this eyeshadow look if you guys enjoyed watching this video and you want to see more like it Make sure you like this video, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss when I upload. Thanks for watching this video and hanging out with me today. It's been a ton. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yo.